Okay, this is going to be about the UK, the first to recover from COVID. Imagine that. So we'll do a reading on this somehow. Uh, if you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, listen, I really need you to subscribe. It makes a difference. But if you haven't subscribed, thanks anyway. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So congrats, UK. You did it. You're scientists have said that you are the first ones to be coming out of this COVID uh, pandemic. Congratulations. Job well done. Sometimes it seems despite uh, your government. So we'll look into that. So, I mean, the questions might be, are you going to stay um, you know, ahead of the COVID game? That's the, 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 the most uh, important question, I guess, that we could ask. Um, also, um, if the government, you know, those people in the government who were against uh, who seem to be against uh, the what was thought of as the, the, the best ways to overcome COVID, um, were they doing what was in the country's best interest or were they doing what was in their best interest? And then um, a couple other questions along the way. So let's get started. So these are the Albano Weight uh, Tarot. And who are these by? I think these are, are these US games? I'm not sure to tell you the truth, but uh, what these are, these are for a fellow whose name actually is Albano. Um, and they're done in the um, in the uh, style of the Rider weight. Well, what makes them interesting is that um, they're very bright. I mean, they're just uh, the typical color of the Rider weight cards, but somehow, wow, where the Pamela Coleman Smith cards have kind of a, a foggy tinge over them, uh, these are just really shockingly bright. And the hint to that is that the backs of them are so white. I mean, gold and really, really white. So. You know, these are just like all the Rider Waite cards that you've ever seen that are pretty straightforward. And, uh, but the colors really pop. And so, oh, they probably look really great on the uh, camera too. But uh, I love using these. Let me turn this light off I've got on over here because that kind of doesn't give them a true uh, color. So, well, there you go. The Albano Weight Tarot. I don't know uh, what company they come from, uh, crazy enough. But um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea you know, what they look, what different cards look like and maybe to help you figure out if you want to buy something I've been using or, um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am. I just used to always like to know, uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, it's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. So again, this is really just an excuse to celebrate uh, all of our good friends in the UK. Good job. You're beating this thing. You're leading the way, but first, let's do just a moment of meditation. Okay. I want to know, first of all, um, these folks who seemed to be, you know, the politicians, okay, who seemed to be looking out for their own best interests, not following the science. If these guys, uh, you know, do they have a clear conscience about that? Was this really uh, just doing what they thought was the right thing for their constituents? Or was it just about trying to get support from those uh, uh, constituents, no matter what they actually believed was right. Let's let's look at it that way. Three cards. One, two, three. And this is uh, the politicians in general. Okay, this first one. 
So were they doing were they doing what was right? These guys who were anti um, all the, the things that seemed to be the right things to do for COVID, the people that were anti that, were they doing it because they felt like that was the right thing to do, or were they just trying to um, play to their uh, their the people who would uh, support them? Ace of Cups. Well, this is a great big emotional offer uh, from those folks. Interesting. Ace of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, law. Ace of Wands, action. This is very telling, actually. So cups are emotion, compassion, and the Ace of Cups is just the highest offer you can get of that period. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And again, the very highest offer you can get uh, for that. And then with wands, this is action. This is planning. This is moving in a direction. And, and then the ba the biggest offer that you can get. So this tells me that I would say the majority of those uh, politicians who were uh, anti um, what seemed to be uh, science were actually doing what they thought was right in each case, emotionally, uh, legally, and uh, as m making action. Interesting. So now let's go up to Boris Johnson directly. So Boris Johnson, what about him? Uh, I mean, he's not a stupid person. He behaves um, in outrageous ways, but always has. And so his actions regarding COVID, were they his genuine, uh, the best for the country uh, ideas? One, two, three. And, you know, the, the universe knows what I'm trying to say, was what he was doing in his conscience that, you know, that he has a good conscience about that, that they were the best thing that he could do as prime minister. Well, OK, so this is The Apprentice and The Apprentice is practicing your craft until you get it perfect. So he was certainly new. Next card in that secrets being revealed interesting about secrets being revealed. Uh, this is talking about you know, information or things coming out that you didn't know before and they're now kind of creeping out of the water slowly. And the third card for that, uh, RG Bargy. So the five of wands, wands are actions, plans, but this is uh, pointless arguing. You know, I think I need one more card just to lend a little more clarity to this. I'm going to take it right out of the middle and that's going to be end of a cycle. Okay, so here's what this means for me. I'm asking, was Boris doing what he thought was the best for the country? This is just telling me, look, he was practicing his craft. He's new at the game. And so he was trying, he's trying to, he is still trying to get it down right. The secrets that were coming out about what was going on, I think maybe he genuinely had some misgivings about the information he had and just was afraid to move forward, which just there seems contrary to his character, but that's how that seems. This pointless arguing just seems to be what is required of the job almost all of this discussion all this back and forth seems to be his way of getting to a decision and then with this death card here this isn't death this is the end of a cycle and so this almost says to me that yeah he was just looking for a way to come to that decision and did that okay and then in the end uh did what uh, i think what he thought was best I really do. And I'm not a Boris Johnson fan by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, just because we don't agree what someone thinks is best doesn't mean they weren't doing what was best. I heard a nice quote that's attributed to Jane Fonda talking about parenting and saying that finally, I think in her 60s, she just came to the realization that because apparently she had a turbulent uh, uh, parental upbringing. But she finally realized that her parents did you know, the best that they could. You know, even if you had crappy parents, uh, parents who are on crack, at the time, they're doing the best that they can. You were part of, you know, they, they just, having a child uh, doesn't um, automatically make them uh, have the best uh, intentions. And Boris Johnson becoming prime minister did automatically uh, make him, um, you know, have the best intentions. He still had to go through whatever his thought process was to get to whatever the end was that he wanted to get to. But let's talk about COVID now. I want to say COVID. Is the UK going to be on the right path to uh, outrun and to conquer this pandemic in the long run? Is the UK going to find the right path follow the right methods, follow the most successful um, possible way to overcome this pandemic. Six cards. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. The UK, are they gonna find the path to beat this? The best path. The, oh, look at that. It is a learning situation again. It's practice. It's picking up all the clues. It's getting all, all the details right. That's the signifier of this. The challenge to that is this page of cups. The page, this is emotional, compassionate, and surprises. So that's what this virus is. It's an emotional situation with its own built-in surprises. And that's the challenge to finding the, the right way to take care of it. The base of this reading with this Knight of Swords, Swords is truth, just, rules, and law. But I also think this is medicine. Okay, this is uh, procedures. And uh, this knight is someone who, once they ha have that uh, in their hand, uh, once they have that remit, that this is what they're supposed to do, they're taking off to do it. The, the knight is going to get his charge done. So this speaks very well to the intent of the British government. In the past, of the, moving out of troubled water, and that certainly is where you are, moving out of troubled water. Interesting. The sky of this reading, then, is short-term plans. Yeah, long-term plans maybe aren't necessarily exactly where we have to go, but it's the short-term plans that can get us to the next step towards that long-term plan. Okay. And then the final outcome for this part is the hangman looking at a thing from another perspective, looking at it again and again to really understand how it comes to be. The last four cards in this uh, draw about the UK, if you're going to find the winning formula to continue to beat this pandemic, Ah, all the the eight of uh, wands, wands are actions, motions, forward, uh, plans. And this is finding two things. It's finding all the actions and the plans that get you there. And it's fighting off all these things that are coming at you at the same time. The environment that that's in, though, ah, is in the hermit. And the hermit is the studious. He's looking forward. He's not making a move until he shines a light and then takes that plan and he starts to move forward in a, in a measured, um, studied uh, way. The hopes and the fears, King of Wands, finding the, the 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 perfect solution. The Wand is the plan, and the King is is the perfection of that. And then the likely outcome for all of this, then for the UK, ah, in the end, you may feel restricted by all of this. Um, the beauty of this card is though is that is that this person is not necessarily restricted. They can they can inch forward there is a clear path out of danger they just aren't aware of it yet so this is telling me that there there are going to be still some uh, misgivings about how to uh, navigate this thing out and that makes perfect sense well, that was interesting. I really didn't expect th that kind of response. So, uh, but I, it was really this video has been just a reason to celebrate uh, the UK. Good job, job well done. You're the guys. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.